Hey Facebook, it's Katie. I hope you're having a great Sunday. I'm coming to you live to talk about my favorite things from this past week. So, let's start with these beautiful shoes. Aren't they pretty? These are like a burgundy and they're bandolino, which I just found out about this brand. They're super comfy and um, these are the shoes that are gonna get me through my big presentation on Saturday. So I'm speaking in front of a very large crowd Saturday. It's a super short presentation, it's like 15 minutes. Um, but I'm slightly terrified of the number of people coming because there are between like six and 700 people coming. So I needed a power outfit. So these shoes, are part of my power outfit, aren't they cute? But they're bandolino and they're so comfortable because I'm old now and I don't wear um, super cute shoes unless they're comfortable because I just can't handle it. So these were at Bergner's, they're called, um, it says bandolino be flexible and they really are comfortable. Like they're so cute but they're really comfortable. And these were like, I think I got them on sale for like $40 or $50 so it was a good deal. Okay, that's my first of the good things. Number two, I am not a consultant for this company. I really just love it. And it's Rodan and Fields. I tried it about a year ago. I was pretty skeptical uh, because of the price. But you guys, I, I just love it. So I've used the um, yellow line, which is the reverse and I've used the blue redefine line. And I, I think the blue one works best for me. So the redefine line is all about, um, I don't know, making the, the wrinkles seem less and um, just the age of your face feel a little bit lifted. And honestly, I've noticed a big difference with this. My skin is softer, I feel like it's more supple, um, and I don't like to wear a lot of makeup, so it's nice to have skin where I feel like I don't have to put a ton of stuff on the top of it. So if you have been considering Rodan and Fields, I highly recommend it. It comes with a, I think, 60-day bottom of the bottle guarantee. Um, so you can try it really with no risk, and I think you really get what you pay for. You pay more for this product than like a, a Walgreens brand, but I feel like it's better. So um, this is part of my routine, and I only use it once a day. Usually I'm not super good about washing my face at night. When I do use it twice a day, I notice even more results, so um, I highly recommend. Okay, number three on my list of good things. If you're joining me now, I'm recapping my five favorite things from the week. Okay, ready? Almond Joy. Are these not the best? This is my favorite candy. And we um, bought some candy today for our trick-or-treaters. I bought it way too early, way too early. It was bad, bad choice. But these are my favorite. Comment below with your favorite kind of Halloween candy. I love hearing what everybody's favorites are. Um, but I'm really excited actually about November 1st because I need this, and this is my number four of the good things. I'm starting a, an accountability group. You saw a recipe for these for Almond Joy? I bet they're not as good as this. <laughs> um, Milky Way, yes, another solid one. I stole one of those from my kids. Um, Anything chocolate, right? I know. We bought a bag of chocolate candy and a bag of um, like sour candy. Reese's, classic, good. Here's something interesting, real quick before I go on to my number four. Zoe was talking about her reading groups in, in school today, um, and she was telling us that the, the kids that have the highest reading, like the hardest reading group, they're all named for different chocolates. And the, the like highest reading group is the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. And I thought, does that mean that that's like the best one? She's in the Kit Kat group, which is one down. I thought that was the funny uh, hierarchy of the candy. Okay, anyway, 
Um, number four, my number four favorite thing of the week is my accountability group starting on November 1st because you guys, this is a tough time of the year for me. I struggle with these little candy bars because they're so little and bite sized and you can just eat like three or four and you, I don't know, they just go down so easily. Um, I struggle because I'm wearing more clothes, like bigger clothes. I'm not at the pool. Um, I just feel like I can relax on my diet, which, you know, is fine, but uh, I don't feel as good, so I really need a little bit of a detox. And that is coming for me on November 1st. So after Halloween, I get rid of the candy, and then I focus for three weeks, and that's usually enough to get me back on track. And I'm excited that it's going up through Thanksgiving. So you're welcome to join me. Let me know if you want more information about that. I've got about eight people ready to go, and I take, I don't know, two to four more people in that group. Okay, and then the last of the, they're small, I can eat 10, right? I know. Um, the last of my five favorite things, this is a real treat. Okay, I'm gonna turn my phone around. This is a fairy house. A Halloween fairy house. You guys, my parents made this for my kids. Well, and for me, this is, this is a live plant and live moss. Is this not the cutest? This is made out of a real, real wood. Isn't it cute? So fairies live in that little house. If we're lucky, we have to take really good care of this thing for the fairies to come inhabit this fairy box. It's in a planter and you actually water this thing. My parents made this. Aren't they fun? And in their front yard is a larger version of this. And my mom said that we can change out the wreath and the decorations when it's Christmas time because the fairies don't want Halloween decorations all the time. They're gonna need some Christmas decorations. Aren't they fun? I love my parents. So they they gave that to us tonight. We went over there for dinner and they said, we made you guys something and they made us a fairy house. So now it's in our house. I just love it. I know I love it, Amanda and Monica. Okay, do I have a green thumb? No, I have no green thumb. I It's horrible. I will kill it. So my mom said, come here, Zoe. I'm going to show you how to take care of it. And she taught my mom how to water it. So Zoe has good instructions for how to keep this thing alive because otherwise I will kill it. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick recap of my favorite things of the week. My red shoes that I'm wearing on Saturday for my presentation, Bandolino, Rodan and Fields. I like the blue line. I'm not a consultant, I just really love it. But I do have a lot of friends who are consultants if you need a name. Almond Joys, that's my favorite. Um, my accountability group to help me get rid of this out of my system starting November 1st and my fairy house. I hope you guys have a great week and enjoy those little candies. Bye guys.